Good morning, Moose Lake High. I'm Rick. And I'm Nathaniel. And we're here with the Weekly Moose. We will be covering this week's lunches and sports. Lunch today is chicken noodle soup, Tuesday is spaghetti, Wednesday is cheeseburgers, Thursday is mashed potatoes, and Friday is chicken nuggets. Birthdays this week. Today to Andrea Youngberg, Wednesday to Mason Chamberlain, Thursday to Noel Nendick, and on Sunday to Lane and Jessica Johnson and Rebecca Mallon. Let's go to Mike and Peter for this week's In-Depth. Uh, this week's in-depth look is on hunting. Um, why aren't you on hunting this again? Yeah, I did. What did you get? Oh, a spike buck. A spike buck, huh? yeah. Heard you were hunting this weekend. Yeah, it was a good weekend. Uh, opening uh, afternoon, I was walking back from my stand, and I was actually walking to my stand, and I was just walking carelessly along, like nobody's business, and all of a sudden I look up and <laughs> see a deer 20 yards away. So I pulled up my gun, and my dad was trying to shoot it, so he moved out of the way, and the deer spooked. I got it to stop, shot it, killed it, and we got it. One shot, huh? Yep, one shot, one kill. I heard you went hunting this weekend. Uh, yeah, I went in Wisconsin with my bow, so a little bit of bow hunting. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, uh, what did you get? Uh, got a little four-pointer, pretty four big pointer. for a four-pointer, yeah. yeah. It's nice. It uh, came walking out, and yeah. I saw it, and I was like, gee, it's, it's pretty close, 12 yards away. <laughs> oh, you shot it with the bow, huh? Mm -hmm, right through the heart. Perfect. It died. It died pretty died. good. <laughs> did you go hunting this weekend? I sure did. What did you get? I got a big eight pointer. Do you have a story to tell us? Like, you know, more detail? How I got it? Yeah. Well, I was walking to my stand and all of a sudden this deer started running towards me and it was about 20 yards away. And then, so I pulled up my gun and it stopped and I shot it and dropped right there. <laughs> Good story. Right after that, I walked back to the cabin and went to bed. <laughs> I heard you went hunting this weekend. I did, Mr. Zhang. I, uh, I was out here in uh, northern Moose Lake, out in the Black Spruce Forest, when uh, it was uh, probably early Saturday morning. And I was uh, sitting up there, it was right before sunrise, I heard something moving around uh, down in the swamp. So I, I, I have a gun, I figured I saw him. Saw him running off, so I did the math of uh, how, how fast the bullet would have to go, and uh, saw him moving off. He was probably 300 yards away now. I saw him go down that little deer trail, and I just pulled up the gun and shot him, dropped him right in his tracks. <laughs> big 13 pointer. 13? Uh, yep. Can you show us the picture? Yeah, right here. Got a picture of it right there. Thanks, that was real interesting. We are celebrating our Rebel Pride by identifying students who have exhibited the qualities of Rebel Pride. Staff will be nominating students for the Copy and Good Award who have demonstrated the qualities of Rebel Pride. This week, the Copy and Good Award will be focusing on the quality of respect. Students demonstrating respect show consideration, appreciation, and acceptance. You can show respect by respecting yourselves and others. Now for this week's sporting events. Tuesday, girls hockey plays at Pequot Lakes. Team leaves at 1.30 and bus leaves at 2 from the arena. And on Friday, the girls play at Princeton. Now for this week's Student Spotlight. Hi, I'm here with Chris Gassert for the Student Spotlight. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm a senior at Moose Lake and I play football and hockey and unfortunately I'm going to run track with Andres. That's exciting. <laughs> what is your favorite class and why? My favorite class is Psychology <laughs> with Mr. Stevenson. There's about eight students and yeah, we have a lot of great discussions. Who is your hero? Out of all the heroes I have in my life, I have to say my dad, because he's always influencing, influencing me to do the right thing. Tell us about your future plans. My future plans are to attend college. What do you want to do once you get there? Play sports, or are you just going to get your degree? Sports, and possibly a degree, because after all, sports are not much more important than an education. Why do you think the football team is so successful? Definitely because we only have one of the three Dahmers. If we had all three, we'd probably lose first round of playoffs. But we only have one, so that's not bad. What's the last book you read besides the Odyssey? Probably Breaking Dawn in the Twilight series. I knew you were going to say that. So you're a Twilight fan. 
I don't like to admit it. But Team yeah. Edward or Jacob? Jacob. He's got the six pack. Thank you, Chris, for the student spotlight. And back to you guys. Wow, that was absolutely gripping. Well done. Now our reminders for this week. On Monday at 12.50 is the Junior High Math League Challenge and a track meeting 5th hour in Mr. Andres' room. Wednesday is picture retake day and the NHS nursing home visit. Thursday at 7.30 is the band and choir concert. And on Friday at 2, UWS is in the guidance office. Well, there you go, folks. That was the Weekly Moose. I'm Rick Barnesfall. And I'm Nathaniel Red Bear. Return to your teepees, Moose Lake. Boys and girls, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.